what's good wwe2k fans welcome back to the channel god bless thank you for rocking with your boys truly appreciate it so in this one we're going to discuss an extremely popular feature made famous by another 2k title that i would personally love to see make it into the wwe2k series so with that being said 2k fans let's work the feature in question is the badge system in the nba 2k series i'm sure there are a lot of nba 2k fans that could break this down for you but to put things in the simplest form possible, badges are a unique set of skills that you can equip to your my player and spend skill points to level up and progress, unlocking new abilities that cater to your playing style. They are a key element in diversifying and establishing your player build. I don't know about y'all, I can't speak for everybody, but personally I feel like this would be a dub if they can get this in the WWE 2K series. One of my biggest gripes with the 2K series has always been the lack of character diversity when it comes to gameplay. An advanced skill system would definitely help to provide some much needed separation in terms of style and uniqueness not just for created wrestlers but just for the overall roster. Like for real, how dope would it be to be able to further individualize your player's fighting style and skill set? For example, Taker is my favorite wrestler of all time, so say I wanted to have a Phenom build. So maybe that would require me to focus my build around resiliency, durability, and agility. But on the other side of that, say I wanted to focus more so on a showstopper build. Maybe agility, striking, and high flying might be the way to go. I mean, these are all tentative, but it's just to kind of paint an idea. So regardless of how you decided to upgrade your character, you would have access to badges that would further accommodate the build of your choice. Speaking of which, let's talk about some of the badge concepts that I would personally like to see ring iq this would give players a higher chance to roll out after big moves such as signatures and finishers it also has a chance to cancel your opponent's pin combo attempt so basically preventing you from eating that pinfall also when attempting a pin near the ropes your wrestler will automatically go for the best pin in that scenario to prevent your opponent from getting a rope break this badge will also significantly increase the chances of the ref seeing you if you put your hands or feet on the ropes while using a rope break feature. And lastly, it will grant you the perk of excellence of execution. This perk will give you an advantage in the pin and submission mini games if you perform the moves in the middle of the ring. Move Scout. This badge would make it a lot easier to reverse repeated offense. So basically, the more your opponent spams a move, the easier it will be to counter that move. Maybe by way of increasing a reversal window, or maybe triggering an auto reversal for that specific move. I don't know, which one do you guys think sounds better? Do me a favor and put it down in the comment. This badge also has a chance of making you roll to the opposite side of the ring anytime your opponent climbs the top rope. So it would essentially move you out of your opponent's diving range. It would sometimes also grant you a larger reversal window for finishers when your health is above 50%. And lastly, it would grant you the combo breaker perk. When this perk triggers, it would allow you to break out of a combo by pressing a reversal button at any time instead of having to play the guessing minigame. Fighting Spirit This badge will sometimes trigger a strong counter strike whenever your opponent hits you with a strong strike and your health is below 50%. So you will basically absorb the damage from your opponent's strike and fire back taking him off his feet before you collapse yourself. This badge will also grant you a permanent momentum gain boost when your health drops below 30%. And lastly, this would come with the 2.99 perk. This perk will basically grant you an auto kick out during a potential match ending pinfall attempt. However, it only has a chance of triggering if your health is below 25%. So unlike resiliency where you can kind of use it at any time and you can actually trigger it yourself, the 2.99 has a chance of auto triggering if you meet the right criteria. The locked in badge will not only sometimes give you an advantage in the submission mini game, but it would also grant you more momentum for performing submission moves. On top of that, it would significantly reduce the damage from submission escapes by your opponent. And lastly, this badge will grant you the no escape perk. During a submission finisher, this perk will allow you to reset the submission minigame at the cost of a stored finisher. So if you have your opponent locked in your submission finisher but they're about to escape, this one might come in handy, especially if they barely escape that first time. It may be worth it to go ahead and spend that extra stored finisher to spend the block. Dirtiest player in the game. 
This badge would grant you extra special meter boosts whenever you perform dirty moves. It would also provide a damage boost for paybacks such as the low blow, the power of the punch, and the missed attack. And there's also a chance that if the ref goes down in the match, you would instantly gain a finisher. Any weapon attacks done while the ref is down would do extra damage. And finally, it would grant you the lie, cheat, steal perk. So if the ref is down and you have a chair while you and your opponent are in the ring, this perk will allow you to trigger the famous Eddie Guerrero fake chair shot. Once activated, you will see the ref begin to get back to his feet. At that point, your wrestler will strike the mat with the chair and then toss it to his opponent while falling to the mat, just in time for the ref to catch your opponent with the chair red-handed. This not only carries the chance of your opponent being disqualified, but at the very least, it will provide a distraction causing your opponent to be left wide open for other attacks such as roll-up pins, low blows, weapon attacks, anything you could think of. So this is definitely a cool perk for those who might want to play a little dirty. But I'm going to turn the floor over to you guys. Give me your best badge descriptions and how you think they should play out. Even if you want to alter some of the ones that I've personally talked about myself. If we get enough feedback in the comments, I'll do a second part to this video and we'll go over some of the things that you guys have personally posted. Appreciate you guys for checking out the video. And if you truly like this concept, man, do not be afraid to share the video. Who knows? Maybe it'll land in the sights of the right people. Anyway, man, thank y'all for giving me a piece of your time. Love y'all. God bless.